Hello, welcome to Tabletop CP. Today we'll be trying out a brand new game called Battle Force. Before we begin the briefing for the first mission in this little campaign, I just want to talk about Battle Force itself. So this is the book here. This is written by a good friend of the channel, Casey Stratton, who you may recognize as the Baba Yaga from our Spectre Operations campaign. Well, it turns out he's a rules writer as well, and he wrote these, sent them to me, asked if I would be interested. I checked them out, played a few practice games, and we really like it. So we decided we're going to do the uh, little mini learning campaign that he wrote for this game on the channel. So that's what we're going to start tonight. So the game itself obviously is a modern uh, 28 mil skirmish game, which is handy since we already have all the uh, models and the terrain for it. It has a lot of similarities to Spectre, but it's got a lot of differences as well that we really like. Uh, for example, there's multiple shooting phases, there's multiple movement phases, there's actions and reactions. Uh, it adds a lot of depth to the game, but it is pretty intuitive as well. Once you get a few uh, cycles under your belt and you learn the flow of it, it goes, it flows really well and it adds a lot of tactical depth to the game. Uh, something that Spectre isn't lacking in, but I think that this maybe even does a little bit better job of simulating just that uh, back and forth and fluid action that uh, modern combat represents. In this video we'll, we will not be teaching how to play the game step by step. Uh, the rules are fairly intuitive and they're not that long when you get them. I mean if you get these rules you'll notice that the actual rules are only a few pages long. Gameplay rules. Uh, but they are intuitive and I think if you're a gamer, which you obviously are if you're watching this channel, that you'll be able to pick it up after just a few minutes of watching us play through the campaign. If there is some uh, uh, and want for us to do a teaching game and go through the rules step by step after you guys watch this then I'll, we'll do it uh, if not uh, like I said you guys will pick it up pretty quick uh, just during normal gameplay if you would like to try these rules out for yourself after watching this then there will be a link in the description uh, that you can get the game at and there's also going to be some extra campaigns that Casey wrote as well so keep an eye out for those if you're interested uh, definitely recommend checking it out just from what we've played and hopefully after we play this, you might uh, want to give it a try too. So with that, uh, we're going to go ahead and start the briefing for the campaign. So this is a four mission campaign. And this is the book here. It's called The Scorpion's Lair. So this is early 2000s Afghanistan around Jalalabad. So the story here is that the UN has built a prison complex. And they have captured a dangerous terrorist named Amud Darzel also known as the Red Scorpion. And they had put him in the island, which was the prison that they built to hold these guys. Well, some terrorists came in and they broke uh, the Red Scorpion out of prison. The mission for the UN player is to recapture the Red Scorpion. So the UN player will be uh, playing as the uh, allied forces assigned to the area around Jalalabad. The primary goal of the UN player will be to execute the directives provided in the sit rep in an attempt to secure the Red Scorpion. The safety of the UN's players' units will be of the utmost concern as reinforcements are limited. Meanwhile, the terrorists will have virtually unlimited reinforcements, although they will be local militia guys, uh, terrorists. They're not going to have a lot of really high-tech or fancy assets. They do have a few, but uh, uh, they need to be uh, very careful of those because they might not be able to get those back, but they will have a steady flow of manpower. So while it is the uh, UN's fort job is to capture the Red Scorpion, Red Scorpion's goal is to avoid capture at any cost. So to show that, in every game except the fourth mission, the Red Scorpion will be able to leave the board starting on turn three. And he will escape and he will go to the next board until he reaches the fourth board, which is the final board, which he will not be able to leave and he'll have to fight it out. So this game does allow list building and allows assignment of specific uh, kit and gear, which increases all of the stats that we use in the game. And that could be a fun part of it. I know I like list building, a lot of people don't, but I do. Um, but in this case, we're gonna be using the uh, default rosters that uh, Casey built for this mission. We're gonna be starting with those. Uh, just to keep it balanced, keep it fair. And as the, as the uh, campaign progresses, we may add some extra stuff because there may be more resources available to aside in a certain mission based on the outcome of the previous mission. 
Uh, each of the missions are point-based, and there's also secret objectives that are spread around that you can um, complete these missions or these objectives to gain extra intel, extra resource, stuff like that that help you out in the next mission. The first mission we'll be playing is mission one, the Scorpion's Cage, October 19th, 2002, 2300 hours. Helicopters hover over the maximum security facility located in Jalalabad. The prison break, facilitated by forces loyal to the Red Scorpion, has left a bloody trail on their way out of the island. Sirens continue to sound as several UN trucks pull into the yard to assess the damage. Special Forces units containing U.S. and British soldiers exit choppers and enter the briefing tent for instruction. Sit rep. Intel of the immediate area includes satellite footage of the breakout operation. Thermal, thermal images continue to follow a small caravan of trucks through the streets of Jalalabad until it comes to a stop in a rural area east of Jalalabad near the Kabul River. Approximately seven armed figures exit the vehicles and take refuge within the modest residential buildings of the neighborhood, which is what we see here. The briefing officers designate the surrounding homes as the target area and order the responding team to enter weapons-free and retrieve the target. Setup. So the UN player will be the uh, either the British SAS or Rangers. In this case, will be Rangers. We don't have any SAS. The Rangers, Rangers will get a free Humvee, and they will also get a free move and a free disembark if they so choose uh, before the game starts. And the terrorist player will be deploying inside the village. And I will be the terrorist player. And what I will do is I will mark, I will take a picture of the board, and I will mark on a map where my men are. So there is secret movement as well. Uh, what I, I could actually be moving around as long as I'm not in line of sight of any of the Rangers or the Humvee. I could actually mark on the map secret movement. Like if I wanted to move from here to here, I could write that down. As long as he doesn't see me, I can move secretly as long as I, I record it on the map. This game is slated for eight turns or until forces on either side have been eliminated. Wing condition. Uh, well, nope, that's both. So the wing condition is not set till mission four, but we do keep a running total of every mission and we'll keep track of how many points each person scores and that will affect each mission and it'll affect the, uh, the total at the end. So uh, for this mission, players score one point for every model left alive. This includes models that are severely wounded or bleeding. Uh, the UN player elected to take the Humvee and is functional within the game, he'll get two points for that. If either player searches the body of a fallen enemy by performing a search action with a base difficulty of plus one with, uh, within one inch, they receive a point for each uh, dead body searched, a maximum of three points. And secondary objectives of three or more buildings are searched by the Rangers by entering a building and searching. Uh, they will discover terrorist documents which should be recorded on the unit roster. And that's three points, and I believe that will help in the next mission if they find the terrorist documents. And uh, if the Humvee is searched by a terrorist player, they will under they will discover a UN cache of documents, which is kind of the equivalent of the Rangers terrorist documents, which will affect the campaign. And that'll be worth three points if they can search the Humvee. Uh, the terrorist player will get one point for every time, every turn that they actually win the initiative. There is an initiative in this, and it is hard for the terrorist to get it because the rangers are so good. Let's see here what else. Terrorist players one. Uh, I said that terrorist players plus one if you kill the enemy commander. So what we'll be doing, we're we'll keeping a running total of all this for this game. It'll carry over to the next. And just to summarize, the rangers can come in on either side. They get a free move in the Humvee. Their goal is to capture the Red Scorpion, who can leave the board by turn three, uh, but they also have to eliminate terrorists and they have to search three buildings if they want to find the terrorist documents, which will help them later in the campaign. Now we'll go take a quick look at the forces. Let's begin with the terrorist forces. So this is the Red Scorpion here. He is the leader, the commander of the force. So he's gonna have a uh, assault rifle all the rest of the guys are going to be militia. There are different levels. There's militia. There's uh, it's the quality of the troops. Now some of the rangers are, are considered militia. Not you know you're not used to associating militia with rangers, but that's just a troop level. It doesn't really mean that they are militia. That's just what they are uh, skill wise. So yeah, we got the red scorpion here, and then we got a bunch of minions. They're all armed with submachine guns, which have obviously a much shorter range, which you'll see. And meanwhile, the rangers over here, uh, we have in charge of the rangers is Captain Greg Padilla. He is the commander. He is armed with an assault rifle. 
and they have uh, various things with them which we'll get into during the game uh, but uh, the rest of the guys so next to him in the blue we have uh, Andrew Cox he is uh, carrying an assault rifle back here in the purple we have with uh, Odan Beersford and his uh, saw M249 submachine gun so Padilla Cox and Beersford are a higher level of troop and the last two guys are considered militia, but like I said, they're not really militia. That's just a designation of quality for the game. And we have Josh Bruder with his assault rifle in the green, and then Alan Downs with the yellow. And then the Humvee, which is unarmed, even though there's a guy in it. So those are the forces. And I already went over the deployment. And Andre will be playing the uh, good guys. I'll be playing the bad guys. And we will get started. So Andre's arrived. Uh, he's been briefed. And what we'll do now is we're going to uh, talk about our plan. So Andre will step out. I will go over where my men are located. And then Andre will talk about what his plan is going to be. So, so for the plan for the Red Scorpion and his men, I'm going to have the Red Scorpion himself here with two guys. I'm going to have two guys in this building here. One guy here and one guy here. So my plan is I'm going to let the Humvee get as far as it can. Or if he dismounts, let his patrol get as far as it can into the uh, village before I pop out. Because one thing we've learned is that the SMGs <clears throat> obviously are a lot better at very close range. And also on the third turn, uh, I should be able to get the Red Scorpion off the board for one victory point, if I choose to. If not, then uh, he may stay around and do some fighting, but eventually he will leave the board. So that's my plan. Uh, just hole up in the buildings, wait till they uh, get close, and then pounce out, hopefully while I have the initiative. Now we'll go see what Andre's plan is. All right, the American plan. So we're uh, gonna be coming in off of this edge. And I kind of like the idea of outflanking all the way down, but what I think I'm gonna do is actually try and take this compound here first and set that up as a uh, fire base. From uh, that rooftop there I can pretty much see everything and it just gives me a decent uh, base of fire. Um, the reason I'm choosing that rooftop versus this one is I've got a uh, no windows on the back side here. I'm thinking I can bring my Humvee up, dump a couple guys out, boost up onto the uh, roof here, bring the uh, Humvee um, up a little further, drop two more guys out. It'll uh, keep the Humvee kind of out of uh, the way so it's going to be a little harder for Travis to get to and I'll be more likely to get my points for it. And so I'll kind of start in this section of the board and then we'll uh, continue around and see what else uh, needs clearing. So I don't know where Travis is per se, but uh, I'm pretty sure if I can get this uh, compound taken down, um, it'll give me a, a decent shot at this second building without uh, hopefully any casualties and uh, just uh, bring an overwhelming fire power to bear is kind of the name of the game. So. Uh, hopefully he's spread out enough that that'll work out well for me. Those are the plans. So what we do now is uh, we need to roll for initiative. So initiative is very important in this game. Obviously it determines who gets to go first or even go second in some cases, which can be advantageous in certain situations. But I believe if uh, I'm correct in this scenario, we don't roll for initiative yet because yes. I have a pre-game movement. Yes. Yes, that's true. We forgot. So Andre does get a free move with his uh, Humvee, and he can disembark as part of that free move, and then we will roll for initiative. Andre and his men have come in here. He's not going to get out, so he did move a little and bit further. And that's a full 15-inch uh, move plus the second movement phase of 5 inches. So the uh, initiative roll. So initiative is based on the skill of the commander on your force generally, as well as it can be enhanced with... Um, gear and certain items and we'll see in the action phase there's a way to actually boost it during the turn as well but andre's got a modified initiative of five and i as a red scorpion have a modified initiative of two we roll d6 and add 
and Andre obviously won. I win. Two got an eight, I got a four. So what we do now is we move into the movement phase, and in this case, okay, so the way move, movement works is it's alternating. So Andre would move his guy, I would move my guy, uh, so on and no, so no. forth. Well, I actually won the initiative, so you would move first. True, yeah. So that is a big difference here. I'll do some specter comparisons, but one of the big differences is um, I would move first, and then he would move. So it's gets rid of that, I don't want to call it a problem that Spectre has, in that sometimes if you move second, it's actually better for you because you know where the enemy moved <laughs> and you can move out of the way. Yeah. And I mean, it can be a problem because it's like, well, I got the initiative, I'm ready to kick some ass, and suddenly there's Where'd no Where'd everybody there. go? <laughs> so anyway, so what we'll do now, Andre will do movement. No. Nope. Okay, I don't have Travis any. Do I don't have any movement. <laughs> How about we start with that? I'm just going to stay put in my hiding spot, and Andre will do his move. I will do my 15-inch move. Andre has driven up 15. He's got out. He's boosted himself up. They've all helped each other up. So we got Beersford, Downs, and Bruder. And uh, Beersford is here with his saw. we got Bruder with his assault rifle, and Downs with his assault rifle. And facing does matter, so it's a 180 to the front. So he's got Which pretty much all this actually. Area I should have done it more like that, giving me a... Okay. All right, so that's the movement phase. I didn't have any, I'm just gonna stay hidden. Now, there's actually a second movement phase, which happens, no, no, action, action phase. We do the action phase, so we'll and talk about that real some, quick. Well, or should I just do the first automatic action? Yeah, hold on. So in the action phase, uh, there's several actions you can do. I'll just show it here. So you got attack, overwatch. You actually fire in the action phase, and you can fire again later in the main combat phase. You can dodge, which is a three-inch move. Hunker down, which gives you a plus one to your defense. You can uh, carry stuff, pick stuff up. Clear jam weapon, and assess battlefield. That's the main <laughs> one. So assess battlefield means that one model will kind of assess the battlefield. He'll look out. He'll see what the situation is. And that actually gives you a plus three on the initiative roll if you're the first one to do it. So being as I've got the initiative and I want to carry the initiative moving forward, I'm going to have one of my models that hasn't uh, done anything. So right now, uh, is that uh, Cox? You got Cox and Padilla still in so the movie. So Padilla's driving. Uh, Cox is actually, no, we'll have... Uh, Cox Drive Padilla will uh, okay. be scanning the battlefield. So he's popped out of the hatch and he's scanning the battlefield. <laughs> so that'll give Andre a plus three. Now it might seem like, well, why wouldn't you just do that every time? But you'll see as the game goes that it gets to a point where you have to do other actions before that. You know, right now it's real obvious, but there will come a time when that is not such a an easy Sometimes to make. you'll give up the initiative just to get the upper hand in some other situation. Yeah, so there's all the actions. We'll we'll go through them a little bit more in detail. But Andre, since nothing's really happening, I'm just hiding. He just assessed the battlefield. And this and then, is also an alternating thing as well. Right. So he would I, he would take his action, I would take mine until everyone was done. So I just took mine, and now Travis will take his, which will be the same action. Yeah. So I'll do that as well. I'll assess, but I'm only going to get a plus one because I'm doing it second. But it will still keep me within the realm of a very rare chance. Of, <laughs> it's possible, but it, it makes it it takes it from impossible to possible. So yeah. Otherwise, action wise, uh, you can move. So you can always do that three inch move. Um, Andre could actually do that right now with these guys if he wanted to. Um, since I'm not going to do any actions, he could just do them all right now just to speed the game up. But uh, technically, it's alternating. So we'll see if Andre's going to do any other actions. I am not. Right, so we're back here. Uh, quick correction. Uh, these guys, they actually can, getting in and out of vehicles in action. So they could only get out. With their three inch move, they can disembark. And the Humvee moved up five. It's part of its profile. It's uh, secondary movement, which is five, which they moved up. So That's correction. That's all our actions. That's all our actions. So uh, it would be we would go into second uh, movement, uh, secondary um, reaction movement phase, which is a second movement phase. Each model has two movement characteristics. The first one is a six. Second one's four, and the second one is the amount of distance they can move uh, in this phase. So it's very interesting that there's two ways to two times you could shoot possibly. And two times, more than two times you can three move. Three times. Three times you could move. Right. So it's got a lot of movement and stuff. And the movement is a little different on this one. If I'm correct, you do all of your movement? Yes. 
So Travis, because he does not have the initiative, will do all of his movement in this phase, and then I'll have the chance to react to it. Yep. And I have no uh, reactive movements, so I'm just going to stay put. So. Well, I will react to your lack of reaction. So now he could boost himself up, because it's a 3-inch so. uh, max and a 4-inch move. So we wound up right back where we were, but we did it in the correct sequence this time. <laughs> Yay! Uh, so that's it. Next, the next step would actually be main combat phase, where we would do the bulk of our shooting. But in this case, there's no targets for anyone. We're still hiding as the terrorists, so we will just move straight into the next initiative phase. Remember, so I got Andre, my plus three. Andre's got a plus three. I got a plus one. So he needs to roll a six or a one. I need to roll a six. Yeah. Didn't happen. Not happening. So Andre again has the initiative. Uh, that's why in the uh, scenario notes it says that the terrorists get a plus one victory point if they get the initiative at all. Yeah. <laughs> because it's not always, it does happen, but it's not it, it likely. Sh it should be something that you can pull off, but it's not an automatic by any stretch. Alright, so it is now the movement phase, and I will move first. So since I had to move first, I moved the Red Scorpion and his two bodyguards. Now normally the guys would move one at a time, but you can make fire teams of guys uh, at the start of the movement phase pretty much and they can all move together so what i did was i moved the red scorpion and his two guys out of this building over there and now it is uh, andre will move uh, formatting wise for the video uh, we, i think what we'll probably do is just off camera do all the movement and come back and summarize unless something crazy happens but uh for now, we'll just get all our movement done and we'll be, well, be back for the action phase. Actually, my movement is going to be right here. Mm -hmm. And it's I'm also going to form a fire team. Uh -huh. And all the, the only requirement is that I'm within eight inches right. of each other. Yeah. So I can move all three of these guys together, which will allow me to take both of my uh, dudes down inside at uh, the same time and I won't have one just uh, straggling and I'm actually going to do a tactical stack with them also. All right so we'll come back and summarize all into the movement phase. Downs and Bruder have come down they formed a tactical stack which gives you some benefits. Uh, meanwhile at the top here Beersford is just going to move towards the hole and cover the city with his saw and the Humvee has moved up here so that is it for the movement phase. So in the action phase, now Andre could get out. Uh, he could get out here. Always got to get out the doors, but uh, <laughs> this is a case where I can actually move these guys a couple of more times if I want to. So it's not like now that I, now that he's moved up here and he gets out, I'm screwed think, because yeah. I'm just going to get blown away. I actually still have a chance to get out. You'll have way. two chances to yeah. react. So he's chasing me around this way, but I know that I can move again. I can dodge in the action phase I can actually do a secondary movement phase so I could move another what six inches or seven inches total if I used action and secondary movement phase to move so in the action phase uh, Andre gets to go first so what are you gonna do Andre I'm going to start by searching that room all right Andre is gonna search so searching so I haven't gone over this too much yet. Hold on here. So each unit has a base skill. And the way it works, it gives you a number. And you have to roll that or higher. Uh, most of the skills that you're going to do start off as a 2. So you add that to your base skill. So it's a 2 to uh, search the room. Andre's base skill is going to be uh, 2. So right. it's a 4 up. He searches four. the room. He does not search the room, but you got the two guys. Other guys. Well, no, it's my turn. It's my uh, uh, my action phase. Except I'm a fire team. Fire teams don't act together in the action phase. Uh, <laughs> so Andre did his action. Now it's my turn as we alternate, and I am going to do a battlefield assessment. Ah. Uh, so Andre's already forgotten to do I it. I already so screwed up. I'm going to get plus three, which is going to make it a lot more likely that I'm going to get the initiative. So I'm going to have one of my hidden guys. Assess the battlefield. Now Andre can try to search again with the second guy in here, or he could do something else in the action phase. So he did search. So he did search this room. Nothing. I don't have anyone in there. Okay. So if I had a guy hidden in here, at that point he would be exposed, and he would have found him. But searching the rooms is one of my searching the rooms. Yeah. So he searched one room. If he searches three buildings, he finds some terrorist documents, which will affect uh, the points and the campaign going forward. So now okay. it is uh, my. Uh, it's um, yours. Yeah, I'm going to wait to react with these guys to see what he does with them. 
So are you going to do, are they going to disembark during the action phase? Um, so you still have to activate someone. So one of your other guys. One of my other hidden guys is, is now. He's just hanging. He's uh, going station or going idle. Yeah, yeah, idle. Okay. All right. So yes, I am going to pop out in a tactical stack. Padilla and Cox have got out of the Humvee during their action, formed a tactical stack facing this way, and now I will react. I'm going to dodge out of the way. You're going to try to dodge out of the way. Why do you mean try? Because this is your first mistake. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> well, why wouldn't I just dodge? Okay, so what do I have to do, Andre? So um, to react, we have to compare our uh, stats in uh, our reaction stats. Okay, well let's do it. All right, so Andre is wrong. I just what? dodged. I don't have to. We don't roll for that. That his action was that. My action was dodge action, which means I ducked back around the corner three inches. And yes, I was wrong. And Andre, uh, so we're pretty much done with the action phase. I've done all of mine. Andre's done most of his. For um, he's actually going to drop down the uh, bottom of that ladder also. So he's going to use his action to just come down here with the rest of the boys. And that's it for the action phase. So now we move on to the uh, uh, second movement phase. Second which means we get to move another four inches each if we choose. Reactive movement phase complete. So again, in this one, this is the only phase where it's not alternating. In this reactive movement phase, the person who lost the initiative actually moves all their models first. I just move the red scorpion and his two bodyguards towards the board edge. They can go four. Meanwhile, Padilla and Beersford, or uh, wait, who do you got here? I'll have to look at that. Uh, Cox. I Cox believe. and Padilla, I'm sorry. Yeah, so Cox and Padilla have uh, moved this way. And these guys have left the building. And the rest of my guys are hidden. And now we'll be main combat phase, but we have nobody that has line of sight to anything. So that will be the end of the turn. So I believe this is turn three now. Yep. And the red scorpion could leave the board at this point. So initiative phase, I did uh, assess the battlefield first, which gives me a plus three, which I add to my two, which is a five. Andre's a five, he did not assess, so we're tied. Yeah, beat a okay, four. Okay, I gotta get a five. Oh, oh man so andre's got the uh initiative again and something that might not come up again so i'm going to hit it now if travis had rolled a four we would have tied and at that point there's a whole nother uh there's a bidding war that goes on and because travis has more funds than i do at the moment he actually would have won the initiative. Yeah, I, I, didn't, I haven't gotten into that big But that part, we're not going to get into that. Yeah, that's a whole <laughs> other uh, part of the game, which uh, we'll get to another video. But for now, Andre has initiative uh, movement phase. <laughs> so movement phase is complete. I move the Red Scorpion and his men back around this way. These guys are just covering down the road. Uh, meanwhile, Cox and Padilla have moved in a tactical stack, but they're facing, covering both, distant, both directions. I moved fire team. I had two guys in here. They popped out of the window and they're looking at the Humvee. And meanwhile, over here, we have uh, Beersford and Downs have come out in tactical stack and Brooders moving over to start searching this building. That's movement and it's action phase. So you get to make the first action. And we'll be back uh, either after the end of the action phase if nothing happens or if something happens, we'll be back to show that. So I'm going to go on tactical. You'd have been able to, but... Yeah, I should have went tactical. I screwed that up. So Andre is actually going to fire the saw. Way over there, Beersford is going to fire. So the saw has the... Uh, it can fire it... Every model within two inches of the target takes three dice. So the way shooting works, uh, you can take your base action, which is two for Andre, right? Or for, base skill. For, for Beer... That's Beersford? Beersford, yeah. Beersford is base two. Yep. So it's two. So he hits on a two plus, but then you start adding the modifiers. So in this case, there's a 20 inch range band for the saw. So he's in the second one of those, which is a minus one. He's going to get minus two for firing automatic. And then he's going to get another minus one for uh, firing, firing in the action phase. In the action phase. So needing sixes. Needing sixes. So he's going to okay. so start So first with this guy dude here. there. Come on, sixes. Nothing. Nothing. All right. Second guy. Second dude. Nothing. Oh, Maybe but it was a them. classic if one, one, two. You hey. might get up. You might get there if you add them all up. If I add it all up, I get a. <laughs> uh, it it adds up to a six plus another five. 
So since this guy is in tactical stack, couldn't he actually fire he could in fire the same action at the phase? same time? Yes. So do you want to fire him? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Are you sure? Um. Could come in. Uh, could be important if I somehow pop, pop out, of out somewhere else. Which you got two other guys. But you do have another combat phase that you will go first in as well. So um, it's not the end of the world if you don't. But. Uh, so Andre's got to decide if he wants I'm, to I'm fire with I'm actually going to hang here because my reactive uh, firing, um, I'll have a better shot against the submachine guns that these terrorists are carrying. Okay. And that's such a long shot, I don't think I can really make that It'd shot. It'd be a six again. Actually, anyway. no, it would be better because you wouldn't have the minus two. If you did a single shot, you would have a better chance. But uh, uh, we'll let Andre not going to use the tactical stack ability and activate both guys in the stack. So it'll be my turn to do an action. And I'm going to assess Battlefield again <laughs> with one of my hidden guys. So this again will give me a chance to uh, possibly uh, seize the initiative on the next turn. This is kind of like re-rolling ones, isn't it? <laughs> well, see, Andre's, this is where, what we were talking about, that the assess Battlefield isn't necessarily always an automatic like it is at the beginning of the game but yeah in this case andre saw a target if he did not do that they would have ducked around the corner they would have dodged and he would have missed and the I, shot and i should have gotten at least one hit on one of them you should have but so go ahead andre your uh, next action so action Fine. phase we saw this uh, after he did that i assessed the battlefield with a hidden guy and then andre moved cox and padilla up three inches. I used my action to get the red scorpion into the red mustang and then these guys moved around the corner in tactical stack. These guys moved up towards the Humvee. Uh, Brooder, he's uh, entering this room here presumably to search and I think that's, oh and then Andre didn't assess as well which is going to give him a plus one. Yep. And it is on to the reactive movement phase. From the end of the reactive movement phase, I did all my movement. Red Scorpion drove up five inches. These guys stayed put. Padilla and Cox did come around the corner. So they will get to fire first in the uh, com main combat phase. Meanwhile, these guys have moved out towards the Humvee. We do have a uh, line of sight on them. Uh, Bruder, he's moved up towards this window here. And these guys have just kind of rearranged facing that direction. So that is the reaction move. Now it is the main combat phase, Andre, and you get to go first. So in the base, or in the main combat phase, the skill that you use to shoot is the, uh, or the stat you use to shoot is the base skill. So what you have to do is you have to roll above that number. There's modifiers involved, uh, which in this case, what will happen is Padilla will fire first at this terrorist here. So right now, as it stands, he's hitting on a anything but because he's firing a single shot at a target within the first range band. If he was within three, he would actually be in close combat, which would give him a bonus, but he's not. We're just outside of three. So Andre now can fire one shot on anything but, or he can fire two shots at a minus one each for rapid firing. So three pluses, which is what he's gonna do. He got one, one hit. hit. Okay, so we'll talk about how uh, hits work. So there's uh, cards. Each weapon, depending on the power of the weapon, is assigned a different card. So the powerful weapons are red cards, and assault rifle in this case is yellow. So what we'll do is we would draw a card, okay, and we would look at the model's base defense, or defense, which in this case is a one. So you're in the zero to four So band. he would take a severe wound. So there's lots of different things. You could actually have nothing happen. Uh, you don't know. You could bleed, you could get hit in the leg. There's a lot of different things that can happen in these cards. So I like the cards because it's not just, okay, you're hit, yeah. blah, blah, blah. There's actually random things that can happen. I mean, you might come away scot-free and be ready to shoot back. But well, in this case, you, not you so could much. even <laughs> uh, wind up uh, with the guy firing, winds up draining his clip and is uh, unable to fire yes. that weapon until... He reloads. Yep, or jam, yeah. So if you roll, I believe it's two ones. Anytime you mo do multiple shots, your weapon jams. Well, it's also on uh, the card is losing uh, your uh, your weapon runs out of ammo. Oh, That's yeah. actually text on a yeah, uh, card. So, yeah, all kinds of random stuff can happen. So it's really cool. Uh, so anyway, he takes a severe wound. We look at the chart here. Severe wound. The injured model cannot move and is unconscious. The model will die by the last turn unless it receives first aid. 
stabilized with a field medical kit and a successful action skill roll or remain unconscious but survive until the end of the game. So I guess that could be important if that was the Red Scorpion. But in this case, it's just a random Indian Scorpion. terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you say. No. I actually didn't realize I could potentially even... S uh, uh, I looked at that. You're only seeing about the back okay. quarter here. So. Yeah, I didn't even look at it. But anyway, okay. he took this guy down. So this but, is alternating, right? Well, except we're talking about the fact that I'm in a tactical stack. I'm going to do. Now I will go. So we're... Ignore what Andre said about him getting to go twice with a tactical stack. Uh, we were talking about a possible change to the rules. But as written for now, it's alternating. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a hand grenade. I can throw it anywhere within eight inches of me. He has actually two of them. But only one hand grenade per army gets to be thrown on the board per turn. So what I do is I throw a or I pick a spot with an eight. So I'm going to pick right there. And then I roll a scatter and a d6. So and what you do is put you the three. Take the number three and put it over the spot you chose. Right? And I'm actually backwards. I should put the zero end of the tape to the uh, tail of the arrow going this way and it does make a difference. The way that worked, I actually stuck the landing on it and nailed uh, Cox and Padilla with that frag. Uh, now a frag grenade, if you're within, I think an inch of it, you pull inch, a red card. Inch and a half. Inch and a half. And then as it as the go, as the blast gets further from the center, you pull successively lower cards. But in this case, they're both gonna pull red. So that's okay. Padilla or Padilla. Cox? Padilla. Okay, what is his, uh, I guess we need to see what his defense is. So they are both uh, defenses of five just because of their, you know, innate ability as well as the gear. Which is going to be our second uh, line here. Five to seven, wounded hamstrung. Okay, so Padilla's hamstrung and he's wounded. So there's a lot of, uh, as you can see, we have a lot of uh, wounded and there's chips a... that we're using to keep track of all this stuff. So he's wounded. Now, most models have two wounds. If you take a second wound, you die. The commander, in this case Padilla, has three. Uh, but he's also hamstrung, which means he can only move three inches in any phase. Now for Cox. Cox. He's also a five. Severe wound. Severe wound. Oh, boy. So uh, he's, he's going to be, be like your other dude. knocked out. All right. So we'll okay. sort all this out. There's the uh, aftermath of the frag grenade. we got a wounded Padilla. He's got an injured leg. Cox is severely wounded, which means he's knocked out. And yeah, so those guys are in a little bit of trouble there. <laughs> uh, but we'll see. So that's uh, Andre went, I went. Now it is Andre's turn to do something else, which do you have anything? I guess we should, that's the yeah, question we should I ask. Guess. Andre is going to have Beersford fire his saw at the Red Scorpion's Mustang. All uh, right, he's base eating, of two. Base of two, so let's look at this here. So he's a uh, base of two. His uh, weapon selector switches on third setting always with an automatic weapon like I saw. So he's going to be minus two there. So that puts me up to a four. Yep. And I'm in the second, second. range band. Yep. And so fives. And he is not shooting at the driver, he's shooting at the car. So he needs fives to hit the Mustang. Wow. Got one, one hit. shot. I believe that is a yellow card. So the vehicle itself will pull a yellow card. And, and we'll see what it says. Vehicle. Vehicle. Passenger unaffected. is unaffected. Nothing. So there we go. Nothing it, happened. The red scorpion not, just... I can see from here I took the rear tire off. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no, look at the model. Oh, yeah, there. WYSIWYG. <laughs> well, I think that happened when he drove out. <laughs> so that oh, was Beers, man. So that was Beersford. So next up is me, which I will probably have... So he can't quite see me from the building, right? Can Bruder see? I don't think he can if we're using no. this. So he's, yeah, that's a little bit of an angle. So so I could shoot at the Humvee or I could just search it. But I think I should probably, oh, I can't even see anything. So yeah, I'll just shoot at the back of the Humvee. How about that? All right, so uh, this guy here in the front, he's going to unload his submachine gun into the Humvee. He gets, uh, if you're within three inches, you're considered in close combat. So all your negative modifiers go away. And you get a plus one for being within three. So he's a base three. And the plus one, which means uh, he's at a anything but. And remember, normally when you're shooting rap or more than one shot, the second, third selector switch setting, you take a minus one, but that goes away if you're within three. So that's, uh, 
battery died. Sorry about that. I don't know exactly what I missed, but this guy fired. I uh, went through a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know if I actually got it, but he actually hit this Humvee three times at point blank range because he was hitting on anything. But and we pull three green cards. First one. All right. Vehicle. We've got a bunch of info here. So we got but, the second one. Small arms fire. Um, have small arms fire damage. The vehicle suffers a malfunction and is disabled. So the Humvee, Humvee is disabled. disabled. He pulls another one. If small arms fire damage, then vehicle wounded. suffers a malfunction and is wounded. Yep, so vehicles have, I believe, three wounds. So he's taken one wound, he can't move. And finally, wounded. Suffers a malfunction and is wounded. Yeah, so if he was moving, he would do it out of control, but he's not. So he's taken two of his three wounds. So the Humvee is almost dead. And you get to roll three more dice. Well, no, you get to go next. Um, oh, because... So that was my first guy here. So you get to go, you have... Well, you could try it. Uh, who is that? Uh, oh, Downs. So Downs could actually try to take a sh take out the uh, Red Scorpion. Okay. I believe you're going to be needing a... Let's figure Three, this out. Three, four... Three for base, four for the range interval, pull, I think. And that's it. That's probably it, yeah. So four or, plus... That's we're going to say cover, just because you're shooting through all this shit. Uh, well, if I... Hmm. Cover in this game just gives a minus one. It's very uh, simple. There's not types of cover. There's not... Yeah, cover. It's just cover. If you have cover or not, you got it's cover. a minus one. So, All right, so you need a five? Five. Five for down to hit the Mustang. He hits Woo! it. So yellow card. See what happens to him. If small arms fire damage is disabled. If moving, resolve an out. Oh, no. Oh. So we've lost control. The scorpion killed in a car wreck. We don't know that yet. Well, that's we'll my see, story. We'll see what out of control. So Downs has hit something vital on the car, and it has gone he out of control. He took the rear wheel out, and it yeah. spun out of control. There we go. I told you. So we'll see what happens here. The red Mustang is careened out of control after being hit by Downs. So we can just move 2d6 in this direction. Ooh. Well, it's definitely going to hit the building. Sweet. So it crashes into the building. It would have been immobile. It's immobilized, and he's going to take a green card hit. The so red scorpion. The red. Ooh, I see lots of red. Wounded hamstrung. Oh. Oh. So the scorpion takes a wound. And he's hamstrung. And he is down to a three-inch move. So I guess. Well, he'll get out of the he. So he's got to wait till an action phase he's even to get out. get out. Oh man, his three inches. <laughs> uh, maybe the red scorpion might not make it off the board this game. <laughs> All right, so that's downs. Uh, next, my next guy is uh, my second guy here, and we are also within three inches of the Humvee. So it's anything but. So three more hits on the Humvee. Green cards. Okay. So actually, you need to put this back in there and shuffle it because we're supposed to shuffle it. Each. Every time that we pull a card. Here we go. Three three cards. Deck reshuffled. So he takes one more wound here. Vehicle, small arms, wounded. Right wounded. Yeah. That's it. So that's his third wound. So the Humvee is destroyed. And I'm going to pull the others just in case there was something wild happening. Nothing. And... Another wound. Another wound. It explodes. Yeah, that would suck. <laughs> Kaboom. All right. And I wouldn't be able to search that. I'd lose my dudes. Uh, <laughs> and I think believe that's it. Uh, he's got uh, Brooder in here, but he's got no line of sight. He's about right there. And that is the full combat phase. Now we move on to the next turn. All right, here we go. Initiative phase. I did assess. So I'm a plus three. And Andre, not. we're tied again. Oh, come on. Woohoo! Still lost. Steals it with a two. Ah, oh, man. I need, the, uh, I need to get the initiative. My days of uh, assessing early may be over. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we move on to movement phase. And, and speaking I, of moving. I have to make the first move. Hmm. All right, so the uh, movement phase. Actually, well, that's uh, in the action phase. We he's going to aim his yet. shot. This is still the movement phase, Andre. We're not in the action phase We're yet. We're not into action yet? No. Oh. Uh, I just moved here. He moved around. I pulled back. These guys moved up to the Humvee to start searching. Bruder came through the window and... We haven't got to that yet, so it's these guys can move. I'm not going to move my uh, two hidden guys, but Andre can still move that. So one of the things that you can do if you don't move, you can go idle. So idle gives you a modified base action, 
and and it hasn't happened yet, but in the action phase when you shoot at each other, uh, you actually have to determine who gets to shoot first. So if I had a guy here and Andre was here, we would look at our modified base action. Whoever was higher would go first. Well, there's ways to boost that. In this case, idle would give him plus four to his modified base action. Um, and whatever, if I went idle, if we move tactically, you get plus two. So there are ways to make sure that you possibly go first. Uh, but in this case, we have... It was pretty crazy that in our first games we did nothing but shoot in the action phase. Yeah. And now we haven't shot once. Uh, or have we? We may be. I, uh, oh, I yeah, did. I think that's but, true. You did one time. But it's been minimal. Yeah. So it's uh, the action phase. It, I mean, the first couple of games we just used it as an extra round of shooting, but we realized that there's more to the action phase as far as searching and doing other various things that may be more important than shooting. We also got better at keeping our models out of line of sight of each other. <laughs> right. All right, so that's the uh, uh, that's the end of the movement phase, so now we go to the action phase. Oh, it's like fours. Well, right at the start, we just said we didn't shoot often in the action phase, but we're gonna actually shoot right now. So Andre is going to fire with Padilla. So you're gonna be minus one for that wound, too. Yes, so that puts me to fives on two So shots. he's a two plus. Minus one for being in the action, doing this in the action phase. Another minus one for wounded. And if he shoots two shots, he would be another minus one. So one shot at four or two shots at five? Two shots at five. Okay, on to this guy here. Yep. One hit. One hit. <laughs> so that'll be a yellow card for that guy. See what happens. Pulling the yellow card, I see a lot of red. Wounded, hamstrung, suppressed. So suppressed in this game means that you move, I believe, four inches, four inches, and you have to get out of line of sight. So we'll just go back behind the truck, I guess. Even though I'm not completely out of line of sight, we'll say I am it's hiding back there. pretty close. So, so he's also wounded and hamstrung. So he's down to one wound, and he's down to a three-inch move. I have another batch where I send a little bit. All right, so I got, uh, now it's my turn. So we alternate in the action phase. So my problem right now is I got to decide, I could assess with one of my hidden guys, but I also can have to get the red scorpion out of the car on the action phase. So it's like, how bad do I want to save the scorpion? I could actually get him out over here, uh, but now that I think about it, if I just assess, he'll probably just shoot at me with a saw and maybe take out the car or kill the scorpion. Uh, if I get out, then he can just assess and I'll never get the uh, initiative. Uh, yeah, I'm going to get out. So Scorpion's going to get out. Was he hamstrung too? No. I think he was. Or, yeah, he was. Yeah, so we just ran out of hamstrungs. Um, so I could... I'll just put this next to him to say hamstrung. I could fire at him. How? Oh, you can react, yes. I can react with anybody so with going the sight. Andre could actually react... And this is where that plus four will also come in handy for him is when I move, if he has a, be a higher uh, modified base action than me, he could actually interrupt me and shoot at me before I move. So as you're hopping across the uh, hood of the car, I got a nice open shot there. Okay, so you're at, hold on here, let's see what we are at. There's going to be sixes. He actually has a modified base of six to start. I only have a five, but he gets plus four for being, because he chose to not move and just scan. So he's way ahead of me. So he's going to actually get to fire at the red scorpion before, actually you're firing at him in the car is what you're doing. Because you're doing this before I even get out, technically. I can't uh, choose my uh, point of attack when you're... No. No, you you go first. <laughs> you go before me. It's not a interrupt or a ambush. It's a... You're... Got this the jump is on you. true. So I see you starting to act, and I have to act before you. So, so you, can there's shoot, an, you can either shoot at the car needing the sixes, or you can shoot at the red. So Scorpion I got to shoot sevens. at the car needing sixes. Okay, you might blow up or something. Um, well, you took a wound last time I hit it. I am wounded and hamstrung. All sure. right, and nothing. Pair of fives. I am. So I'm robbed. So I, he did fire. He riddled the car with bullets, but I was still able to sneak out the passenger door and hide hamstrung and wounded behind the building. So that was... Uh, so how does this work? <laughs> we'll have to figure this out. So Andre will now get to uh, do an action. Okay. So what do you got? Do you... Um... He still has uh, Bruder. 
and Downs over here are left to go. And poor Cox is uh, severely wounded, abandoned by his buddy Padilla for some reason. Um, but we'll see what happens now that Andre's He's not abandoned, I'm right action. here. So Andre's going to have Ruder throw a frag over here. So uh, scatter dice and d6. Scatter d6 and Oops. oh! So he'll put the three over where he was, so I'm, in the direction of the arrow. So the uh, zero end of the to the tail, and the three is going to go right there. So it, and here all the six. So he puts it actually on the six inch mark. So is where it lands, and it'll still hit us. But I think we're going to probably be in like the yellow or green card zone. So it's uh, two and a half inches to you. So that's going to be a green card. Thing. So okay. So we're within the green uh, radius. We'll, we'll have to double check that, but... Yeah, we'll figure it so out. So a green card each. So uh, we got... Uh, let's pull a green card for this guy here, Andre. All right, first green card. Uh, man, that's hard. No effect. No uh, effect, so it says. Yeah, so it, <laughs> it says that all have. over the place. Next green, oh, that's... That's good. Killed. Ooh, uh, okay. That's a balancing act there. Boom. So he killed this guy outright. But this guy's not affected. Well, yeah, he is. He just saw his buddy go down uh, with a big hunk of shrapnel through his brain. Now's the. Uh... Buddy jumped on the grenade. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. go. Steve <laughs> solved it. This guy jumped on the grenade to save his buddy's life. Man, what didn't we think of that? Okay, so uh, next, so that was Andre. So what? now it's my action. I have this guy, so I could fire back. I think what I'm going to do though is try to search the Humvee. I'm probably going to die in the combat phase anyway, so we'll see if we can find these documents. I need a four up. Yeah, Ooh. we got it. So we found the documents. Okay, uh, and then you have, um, you still got downs left. Andre is going to aim. So that's one of the actions you can do. It gives you a plus one when the combat phase begins. So he's going to take aim on that dude. Because all I can see there. is his shoulder and head uh, yeah. right there. So he's going to draw a bead, which means that he's not assessing, which means that uh, I'm going to assess with one of my hidden guys. I should have did that before I searched. Uh, Andre was um, nice enough to not assess with downs. <laughs> He's going to aim instead. So uh, now I think that's it for you, right? So I yeah. have one guy left, which means I could actually move a hidden guy three inches with the dodge. And do I want to do that? No, they'll stay hidden. Uh, so now we move on to the reactive movement phase which means I have to move all my stuff first the so at the view. edge of at the end of the reactive movement phase uh, I moved the red scorpion three inches back since he's hamstrung I wasn't quite able to make it out of sight of Padilla meanwhile this guy is suppressed another part of being suppressed aside from instantly having to move behind cover if possible then I think four inches is that you can't move again until the action phase so he's stuck here until the next action phase um, meanwhile, this guy just moved around the front of the Humvee and Bruder moved up. So we got a close range firefight about to happen here and Beersford moved up and Downs is going to stay put because he aimed at that guy. So we go to the, um, combat? actually, hold on here. I still got two guys, but no, I, no, I'm sorry. I forgot that they can't move. It was, I was supposed to do all mine at once. So yeah, combat phase. So you want to start with downs or? Sure. Well, well maybe you might be better off starting with Padilla. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's a chance, cause remember yeah. this is alternating. So if you don't start here, I can yeah. shoot first. So. Now this is, uh, well, and uh, this is my chance to take down the Scorpion. Yep, so you're at two uh, within 14. Yep. So or, that's, oh, 14? 14 is the range arrow for an assault rifle. Yep. Just. So you're a two plus, we'll say another minus one for just the cover. Yeah. And then minus one for being wounded. So you're at a four on a single shot. If you do two shots, it'll be five. So again, one at four, two at five. I'm gonna double tap. Okay. Oh, oh no hits. The scorpion might squeak out of here. Oh. He might be able to squeak out. <laughs> he tried to drive out, but he might be limping off. So uh, <laughs> well. well, one, two, three. Uh <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do I? Oh, okay. Let's start here. I'm gonna get the drop on you then here. So we're not within three. We're gonna give you cover. So I'm. Uh, let me figure this out. So we're gonna do two shots at five. Uh, first range interval. So he's a three base. 
four for the Humvee, and minus one more for doing uh, two shots. So fives, come on. Oh, Woo! same thing same as roll. Okay. Same roll. <laughs> all right, so your go. Okay, so that's all the shooting except. Well, you got no, you got downs. Yeah, well, I've got two shots, but it doesn't matter which oh. one I resolve first. No. I'll fire it back at you. Okay. Just because that's where we're at. So, so your same deal. Uh, base three plus one so, for cover is a four. Yep, so either one at four or two at five again. Two at five is working well for everybody. Oh, it's been great. Oh, I got one. Okay, so yellow card because Bruder has a an assault rifle. Oh, I see a lot of Base red. of one, wounded, bleeding, two, suppressed. suppressed. Took him out. So bleeding. So he will bleed out in two turns. He is wounded. And, and suppressed. Suppressed, which means he's got to try to get out of sight within four, which he's going to duck back here, which means he'll just be stuck here. With a whole bunch of tokens. A lot of tokens. <laughs> so I'll pull these off as we go. Once I pull the last one off, he'll die of uh, loss of blood. All right. And I got the red scorpion. So we're going to fire the red scorpion at Padilla. Right. So the scorpion is wounded. He's got cover between. And uh, actually, the way cover works in this game, I should mention, is if the target is, if the cover is closer to the target than the shooting model, they get cover. Which technically, in this case, I'm, I'm closer to it than you are. But you are kind of behind the edge of the building too. So uh, we'll give you cover just for the edge of the building. Well, and this end of the car is right. about half. <laughs> no, but I was looking <laughs> at that and it's like, no, I don't think I do have cover at well, first glance. How long is the car? No. <laughs> we'll just do two at five. That could have gone either way. This goes so well for us. Yeah, we got one. So Padilla has been hit with an assault rifle, which is a yellow That's card. So what is it? No, you don't, because I only have a... Uh... Suppressed. I think he's, yeah, he's just... Because I'm a five. You're a five defense, so you're going to be that yellow so one. So I just is... made it into the suppressed, which... Which means... Padilla has fallen back. The way to fire from the Red Scorpion drove him back. Which means he can't move again until the next action phase. Which means... So we've downs. got the aim shot. Yep. So... So base three. Minus one, minus, actually you might be in the third range band there. Probably are at 14 inch range, so. Oh. Hmm, maybe you're actually, out of range. Might. <laughs> you might be out of range just in, yeah, shit. 35. Yep, yeah. so it's what, 14 times three is what, 32? 42. 42. But down uh, is out of range, you can't even hit. So that was a wasted. Uh, another thing about taking the aim shot, you have to have your selector switch on one yeah, to only do an aim yeah, shot. You can only do it so on a single shot. I'd have done one shot. You would have hit. Oh man! If you were in range, yeah. You can't shoot past the third range interval of any of the weapons. All right. And I think that's it for. Uh, yeah, that's it. So we move on to the next turn. And I did assess first, so again, we're tied. And can I get it? Yeah. What are you doing? No. A re five. Huh? You used my die. Oh man, I'm using the wrong color die. <laughs> okay, so plus one. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Six. It's still the wrong color. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I actually got the initiative, which means I'm going to get an extra point because I happen to win the initiative once in this game. So here we go with the movement phase. End of the movement phase. He can't move. All the suppressed guys cannot move until the action phase. So he stayed put. Padilla stayed put. This guy stayed put. The scorpion is limping off that way. Three inch uh, only per move now since he's uh, hamstrung. Bruder, wait, oh, he went, he uh, he stayed idle, which is yeah. gonna give him a plus four for the action phase in case I pop around. He'll get to shoot at me first. These guys, so I came out of this window, I came out of this window, I formed a tactical stack. Downs, uh, so he moved up there. And then Beersford with his saw has moved around that way. Leaving Downs just kind of hanging out in the middle of the road there. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah, no problem. And that's it for movement. So now we go to the action phase. And since I have the initiative, I can do something first. So far, the scorpion moved. Um, what else? Oh, uh, Beersford moved around that way, presumably to try to kill the scorpion before he moves. These guys moved up their tactical stack, and now Downs is going to throw a grenade. And I'll uh, drop it right there. All right, go ahead. Uh, D6 and scatter. And... Uh, three. I and nailed it. 
<laughs> uh, well, you would have hit up here somewhere, I think. There are three, is that no, you center it on the three. Right. So, it's just... Well, it's that way. He hit it. So this guy's definitely going to be hit. So he's hit. They're both uh, red cards. Okay. okay. Andre took the green card though, right? Uh, so no, I did not. No, he's not within. He's not close. All right, it's a so five inch. Uh, red diameter. card each. Whew. So first dude. No, he's dead. He's down. Second dude. Severe, severe wound, wound. Which means he's going to be. Well, he's unconscious then. Yeah. All right, so they're pretty much toast. Well, that didn't work out very well. <laughs> uh, actually, you did force me to do something dangerous there. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't an ideal thing. I got lucky. Yeah. Um, I could have gotten unlucky and totally screwed myself, so I don't know that you made a bad move there. It just didn't work out for you. Okay. Uh, let's see. So what do I... So he's on uh, idle, which is going to give him... Well, even if I can't see him, yeah, it doesn't really matter if I move around anyway, because that's my that's my uh, yeah. action. So, I guess we'll shoot at Padilla. Okay. So you're gonna get to go first. Yep. Because you have a higher uh, action than I do. So let's see here. So single shots. So again, fours or fives. One at four, uh, or two at five. Same thing. That's the first range band. It is. Yep. Okay. Um, I've been liking those two fives. Okay. Oh, two oh. hits. Oh, man. Now the dice are heating up for Andre. Yeah, this is uh, not looking good there for you. Okay, so... When has it ever looked good for the terrorists in this mission? <laughs> yeah, well, guess what? Oh, he's dead. Killed outright. All I had needed was a wound, but... Yep, either way. He just, uh... So my only... I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get uh, Red Scorpion off for sure now. Now that I lost almost every single guy I have, I'm down to one dude. Uh, all right, yeah, we'll come around. Let's just hope you miss. Okay, there's my action. And he's gonna be dead next turn anyway, so. Who's gonna be dead? He's oh. gonna bleed out. So we'll just come around and hope you miss and maybe I can get a lucky shot on you. Uh, well, that's assuming that uh, I shoot at you. Okay. If you I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the size of that blood trail. I'm just going to duck back around out of sight. Okay. All right. And then, uh, so that's it for the... Man, this is action phase? So we're, now we're to the reactive, reactive movement Reactive movement. So you have initiative, so I move first. Yes. Okay. Into the reactive movement phase. Andre did all his movement first. He left Ruder there. Downs went in to, uh, remember you can search the dead bodies yep. and you get yep. a plus one. Uh, so uh, victory points are important. It's not necessarily who wins every game. It's all cumulative towards the end of the campaign. That's why it's important that I got those documents. So uh, moved him, Brood, or Beersford moved out a little bit. Scorpion again limped his three inches. And Padilla has now finally come back over here to help Cox out. And that's it. So main combat phase. So nobody, uh, nobody assessed in that round. <laughs> <laughs> Just like we said at the beginning, it's yeah. like assessing. Oh no! And then, but once you get into the game, it's everybody like, is needing to do. I something should have actually that. assessed with this guy instead of coming out. But I want to throw a grenade. So it's combat phase. So the first thing I want to do is throw a frag grenade. Uh, Here's a spotting die for you. Actually, the first thing I'm going to do, I better do the scorpion. <laughs> so the scorpion's going to fire at Beersford through the van. So yep. I'm going to be uh, second range interval, cover, wounded. That's a minus three right there. Uh, Actually, maybe third range interval, huh? How no, far out? Because he's away? got a assault rifle. Assault rifle. So yeah. second range band, no problem. 20 so. inches, 14 inch uh, range. So cover... Wounded range interval. Range interval, and that's it. But he's a base two, isn't two, he? Yeah. So he's at a five for one shot. All right, come on, Scorpion. See if we can hit Beersford. Hell no, he's a wounded. No, 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 no. All right, so now it's your turn to go. Um, and that's pretty much it. So while Andre's thinking, I'll just tell you a mistake I made here. 
I should have not moved out in the action phase. I should have just stayed put. And then in the reactive movement phase, I should have moved out because he wouldn't have been able to react. So that was a mistake. It cost me the two men's lives. If I did it in the correct order, I would have stayed put in the action phase. And then the reactive movement phase, I would have popped out exactly the where I did. He would have been here. It would have been a lot different. Padilla is going to try and take out that terrorist that uh, okay. is uh, kind of getting blindsided here. So, All right, so Padilla onto this dude. Second range interval. Yep. Cover for the thing. Wounded. Cover and wounded. Yep. So sixes. Oh, you're at two. You're at a two. Base two. Two. So I'm wounded. Second range interval. Cover. Yeah. So fives. Just fives. Single shot five, or two if you want. Six. I'll take a single shot five. He missed. Hey, same as you. Okay, so he lives, which means he's going to throw his grenade at Bruder. So, spot and dice, or yeah, uh, yeah. So like we'll the spot. We're dice. just going to put right on top, right, right on. And his, I guess you don't need a spot and dice. Right on his K pot. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm going to say <laughs> you got to choose the uh, edge of his base there. Okay, fine. The edge of his base there. Oh man, that's probably not good. It'll probably land over here somewhere. Yeah. So, or actually, it's back this way because the tail is here. Yep. So I put the three there. The one is going to be right there. That's going to be a green card. Okay. So it still hits uh, Bruder, but just not as effectively as it could have. Oh. Bruder. So he's probably uh, wounded, suppressed. Ah. Yeah, because Bruder's base defense is a uh, five. Wow. Wounded, suppressed. So yeah. he'll duck back into the building. So he'll take a wound. He'll hide in the building. So he's pretty much done. And that's it for me. Do you have any other shooting to go? Ah, oh, yes. Here's back at I the scorpion. I didn't Scorpio. do that, did I? No, not yet. Okay. So it's going to be second range van, cover. Actually, no, no cover. cover. No cover, because I'm closer to the van. Yep. You're I'm in the hanging open. in the breeze. So it's just going to be minus two um, for the three. automatic. Minus Second range band. Oh yeah, three. Minus three. So, needing fives. Fives. Here we go. This could be it for the scorpion. One hit. One hit. Yellow card. Yellow card. He's already got one wound. Oh, no effect. No effect. So the scorpion escapes damage. Man. But uh, still wounded, I'm still going to be dragging my ass off <laughs> the board edge from... <laughs> If I get lucky. Well, uh, it... Uh, I think that's it for combat. So all you have left are down. She's got no targets. Nobody has any targets. So we move on. And no one assessed. So it's going to be straight up two against Andre's five. Ah, oh, man. I saw a six. Hey, a two and a five. <laughs> okay. So Andre goes first. So movement uh, so is now the move movement first. phase. The end of the movement phase. The scorpion's coming up here. He's going to try to pull a fast one and sneak out. Bruder's on him, though. He's coming up. Uh, Padilla's moved over. He's going to finally try to patch up Cox. Downs is going to start searching these two guys. This guy finally bled out. And uh, Bruder inside here is uh, suppressed, so he can't move until the action phase, which starts right now. So you get so to do the first the action. action suppress markers or marker yeah. yep now now this is one guy who was suppressed this turn can now do something i mean i'm gonna get first shot no matter what yeah so he has a modified base action six i'm only five as a scorpion so he actually gets to take that shot first so um first range ban three shots shooting uh minus one for in the uh action phase action phase minus and one minus cover. one for the cover yep so, I need so fours fours oh no 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 no, it's minus. It's fives. Uh, two for fours. No, six. It's fives. So it is sixes because I was we've right. got the action phase. We I showed Travis. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I finally got to be right and screwed myself. Okay. I was gonna get two on fives. Uh, how about a one, two, or a three? He missed. Hey, that's a six. Okay. <laughs> I got a six on three dice. So if you would, Andre, I'm gonna dodge off of the rock with my action. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the rock, if you would, please. So that's it. All I have is the uh, scorpion. So pretty much now, Andre is going to go through and do some, uh, some. So let's do some skill checks. So he's going to okay. search here. So let's just start here, needing a four plus. He gets it. So he 
he searched one dead body and, and we'll see if you can patch up cost this is an important one yeah you got that'll it. be good so he's stopped or he's stabilized Cox stabilized um, I'm gonna Which search that building die. that I'm in okay so we'll search the building here no no so Bruder didn't find anything in his search so you just gained yourself uh, one point and saved a man and saved Cox's life so we'll move on to the next turn so here we are okay. turn seven turn. Rolling for initiative. Did two against five? Did we do our second uh, movement phase? We did our action phase for searching. Oh, that's. But I had another movement phase, so yeah, I'm sorry. He's so, going to so move in there. Yeah, I forgot the reactive movement phase. So Downs is going to go into this building to get ready to search next time. And I think I will make it off the board then for sure. And because the next thing will be movement, and, and I'll get off. You'll get off. Yep. So the real, the real, the only thing we're really playing for now is to see if you can pass the skill checks to search the third three buildings. So I've got this turn, and then the next. You turn. got two tries. So do you want to just go straight to that because I'm going to get as off. well. That's an auto off. Yeah, because um, in the movement phase he'll go off. He's already saved him, and you got a guy I, in here and a guy in here. I can come over and try and search that body. Okay, that'll work. So you get two tries. So. The game is essentially over. We're, we're just going for campaign points now. So search with Bruder. Searching four. Building. Nope. Searching. Searching it down. One turn at a time. No. No. The body over searching there. Searching the body. No. No. Oh, nice. we got a one though. Oh. A one means a foo bar or a uh, snafu. So Downs has to pull a snafu card. Not that. No, that was. Uh, no, that was Downs. It was Downs? Yeah. Because you search with Bruder first and then Downs and then Padilla. Okay. So um, the snafu card. Unless yeah. you want to pull a green A card green snafu. <laughs> okay. While well, well, performing the action, you hear the crack of a sniper rifle. Roll a d6. On one, two, or three, you have been hit by a sniper round. Oh, boy. No. Yes, <laughs> damn it. My only chance to actually kill one of these guys. So, uh, yeah. You would have took a red card, though. If you're in, Oh, you're inside of a building. Disregard. It doesn't matter because you're already in the building. So, never mind. Okay. Still, the sniper still fired off. <laughs> okay, so we move to the next turn. And so movement phase. You were I will, off that I'll turn. definitely be able to get off. And we'll just do one more round of rolling. So downs. Uh, he can't get to anything, so come on. I got to get this. Come on, downs. No. no. Oh, another snafu for downs. <laughs> what are you doing in there, downs? Looking for snipers. <laughs> what does this say? The action you are attempting to perform goes horribly wrong. Uh, it's not a drone, so it wasn't a medical skill. You would have botched and the patient would have pulled another card. But in this case, nothing happens. So um, you just don't find I probably anything. sprained my ankle moving stuff or something. So Downs is stronger. Something. Somehow Downs has pulled two uh, snafu cards in a row. So okay. let's try a Bruder here. Needs a four up. You got hey. Sadly, you're not going to search the three buildings. Uh, and the last dead body, no. no. Oh, a snafu for <laughs> a snafu for Padilla. Oh man, it's three snafu cards. Uh, it goes horribly, horribly wrong. Horribly wrong again. No, so it's not oh. demolition. It's not a stealth. So nothing. Okay. So that's oh. that is the end of the game. We'll come back and wrap it up. So we're back to wrap up the uh, first mission, the Scorpion's Cage. That's the name of it. Uh, so. In the end, all the terrorists were killed. The Red Scorpion did escape the board, barely, uh, at the very last second. Um, Points-wise, Andre's got eight points. He's got one for searching one dead body. He searched two buildings for one point each. If he would have searched a third successfully, he would have found terrorist documents and got like three more points. Uh, and he gets one point for every model of his on the board alive, which is five more points. So he's at eight points. The terrorists, uh, we get one for uh, one point for the Red Scorpion making it off. We get one point for winning the initiative uh, during the game. And then we get three for searching the Humvee and finding the documents. So it's uh, eight to five right now in game one of the uh, campaign. So the Scorpion's Lair campaign game one, I, I haven't really read far enough in to really know exactly what the points do, but I know they do something. <laughs> They could be important. <laughs> they will be important, so we're going to keep track of those. So, uh, yeah, it's a great game. Uh, as you could probably see during the game, we made we made some mistakes, I'm sure, but uh, I don't think anything too game breaking. Uh, the mistake, I mean, the rules the most, mistakes. The actual tactical mistake I made 
was this. That was the big tactical mistake. That pretty much swung the whole game because suddenly I had nothing. If I would have waited until the reactive movement phase to do that, they'd still be alive. Downs would probably be over there. Who knows? Could have changed uh, the whole game. Yeah, I keep forgetting to uh, start off the uh, action phase with uh, reconnaissance. Assessing the assessing field. Assessing the field. But you uh, can't, but as the game gets going, that's not always the most obvious thing to do. A lot no, of time you're trying to either get out of the way or... There whatever. were a couple <laughs> turns where I just flat forgot. Um, and then at the end of the game, you'll notice uh, neither one of us was bothering with it because everybody had to do something. Yeah, as the, as the turns were ticking down, suddenly it's like, especially for you, well, I got to search all these buildings yeah. and... And it's not easy to search. you got to get a 4+. plus. Yeah, it's like, how hard is it to uh, search a building? Well, um, a... <laughs> I guess it's not hard to search a building. It's maybe hard to find something. It, it's, <laughs> it's hard to be successful at it. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah, that was a good game. Uh, the React, I, I do, I love the, uh, just the, the multiple, the action phase, the reactive movement phase, the combat. It's a lot more dynamic as far as, uh, the flow of the game, I think. Yeah, Moving it scared me a little bit the first time I read through it. It was like, what? <laughs> yeah. But once you, you know, the rules are really pretty straightforward. It's a fairly quick read, and it's not a difficult game to, uh, in terms of how much we were actually screwing up rules. Um, I think this is probably one of the easiest games we've had to learn. Would you agree with that? Oh yeah. It's, yeah, definitely. Uh, um, well, it helps to have the guy who wrote the rules kind of watching over our shoulder and yeah, but helping us but along the way. Still, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a really easy game to get um, get right quickly. Yeah. Um, but then, like all these games, you know, then you get into the tactics, and uh, obviously we were both screwing up a lot of different little tactical things, figuring things out, and yeah. um, just trying to remember to do everything. Uh, it's tough. It is. It's, uh, there's a lot of little things that you can do to really help yourself out. And if you don't remember them, then obviously they're not going to help you out. And, and well, that right there was... Yeah. That was I really huge. screwed that up. But I was kind of thinking maybe you'll scatter. Well, There's a chance you might miss. Who knows? But yeah, it just happened no, to land And like right I said on. at the time, you forced <laughs> me to do something that I really didn't want to do. Oh, yeah. It definitely was a risk to Downs. He could have easily scattered back it, and got him, too. Yep. So I, it was a risk. I was figuring, okay, I take a green card. It's he'll, He might take a wound. <laughs> uh, he might die. He, you know, <laughs> a green card usually isn't fatal straight out. Um, uh, what? I, <laughs> I just green died. card usually, usually is. Isn't <laughs> but uh, it can happen. Straight out. You lucky, lucky piece of shrapnel to the... Uh, the artery or something. Yeah, um, but it was one of those, uh, I didn't see me surviving that if I didn't, so I took the shot. Yep, and that was my one time I got the initiative, and I screwed it up. <laughs> Next time it won't happen, though. I'll, I, I've learned from that, so that's the best way to learn in this world, right, Andre, is screw things up. That's uh, what I found. I must be a total fucking <laughs> I genius. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I'm a genius by now, then. <laughs> I know everything... Everything's going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I did my job. That's how I learned everything in my job. Like the day you have to drive an extra eight hours because you forgot to bring like this one little piece of equipment. <laughs> You'll never forget that piece again. But anyway, so yeah, it's a great game. There's a lot of great flow. The dynamics are really good and fluid. I said that word, but it, that's how it feels to me. And the more you play it and the, the smoother it gets with the moving and the reacting and the actions and all that, it's... It's been really cool. It's, uh, it's It adds a lot to it. So Anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. Uh, hopefully you guys uh, like this game. We're going to finish up the campaign as well. we got three more battles to go. And uh, we'll get to those. We'll probably try to do, uh, I don't know, one a month probably. We'll get one a month in. and Or maybe more. Who knows? Now that we're on quarantine, we seem to get more games in. So, But uh, yeah. And if you guys have any questions, uh, you know, feel free to ask. Go to the Facebook group. You can ask us. Uh, you can message directly through YouTube as well, obviously. But uh, if you're interested, check out the game. It's going to be in the link to get the game. And you can ask us, ask us any questions. And with that, we're going to go ahead and call it for the night. And thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.